we established PRC in 2015, we wanted to link the international process to the national process and national process to the local process. And then we said, we will work basically with three ideas. One, we want to do policy work. The second thing, we're just talking about policy is not sufficient. We might want to have you know, climate change related proofs and documentations and case stories and articles and things like that. So another part was to do more research and, uh, um, and you know, studies and things like that. And the third part was to say, just talking about that and policy process and, and advocating on the, the policy front or doing research was not sufficient. We also wanted more people like us to come in the country. So we talked about capacity building issues. That is where we come, we do a lot of trainings whether it's uh, climate finance issues or adaptations or things like that. We do, uh, you know, discussions programs. So if there's anything happening in the COP or, or, or let's say the uh, national policy program, we would organize uh, stakeholders meeting to share ideas, learn from each other. Since then, we have not really looked back and we have already, we're always uh, going forward. And then, you know, we have grown uh, in terms of our organizational size, in terms of our financial turnover, and even the work that we do and the trust of the government also, and that has also been a good part for us. Nepal is one of the highly vulnerable country to the impacts of climate change, I think. And a lot of the issues that we do, we advocate internationally, there isn't a lot of difference between what the government says and what we say. We're not government, so we don't try to become them. We know our differences. We know our way, the, uh, you know, way, the, way to draw the line. But when we come back here, then we say that we, we question them again. You said this at the international fund, but what are you doing here? What is the policy process looks like? Is it inclusive? It is participatory. Are you really addressing the issues of the most vulnerable communities or not? Currently, we are focusing on three works and now three stream of work, I would say. One, we are doing work around climate finance. Where does the finance lie? What is it that we can access? How can Nepal benefit? The second part is we are now running or doing a campaign on 100% renewable energy campaign. And I know it's a very broad term, but for us, we are not a campaigning organization. We don't come on the street to say that, okay, let's do a rally and the biggest. No, that is not what we're doing. We are mostly engaging in terms of policy implementation. We are pushing the government now in the, for the uh, provincial government, we're helping them make a renewable energy um, policy and action plan. So that is the kind of work. I mean, we, we push on the policy, we do the capacity building, and we also do a little bit of research and publications to promote the work and good experiences sharing. And so this is how it has been. We are a small organization. We don't need like, you know, we are not looking for any millions of dollars, anything else. And we don't want to be big anything. We wanted to do the work that is more relevant. We wanted to do the work that fits our in interest. We wanted to do a job that we liked and we enjoyed working on. You know, and then that is becoming more relevant that we could be useful to all the stakeholders. And that is the, um, bringing stakeholders, building the synergy, and that has been we have been very good at that.